Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I want to look into the Hack Held Vega by Space Hunt. This is a project, I mean, I just got done doing the ESP8266 uh, deauthor kit. This is basically the same thing, but with buttons and a screen, and uh, it supports Space Hunt. This is specifically the Hack Held Vega 2. And we'll look at it more in just a second. Before we do, I, I do want to mention my website. I have a few things. I've still got a handful of the sticker packs in stock, which have all these script. It's a full set of these script kitty stickers. And then you also get my barcode sticker. And then I also want to mention if you have a war driver kit and need a case for it, I also have 3D printed cases for the war driver available. And I've got a whole slew of different colors you can choose from. Uh, the link is in the description and I'll throw it up in a tag up here in the corner. But let's get back to it. So we got the Hack Held Vega comes with a 3D printed back case. Really cool little almost translucent blue. A couple of cards. One of those general soldering do's and don'ts. Hack held Vega card with a link to the website and probably the instructions. And then all of the parts fit in this little plastic box, the hack held kit. So we have the screen, we have some headers, we have an 8266, Lolan D1 mini board, resistor, bunch of buttons, some screws, a NeoPixel, so quite a few little things. It's a looks like a pretty simple build. Looks like it's all through hole. Okay, so up here you have the option of doing a solder on or a standard through hole, surface mount and through hole. There you go. All right, cool. It looks simple enough. I'm not gonna go by step-by-step step how to put it together. Uh, you can see the instructions here. This is just simply a kind of looking at this project. So we'll get it together and see how it compares to the D1 Mini the author I did a little while ago.
we got it all done. Nice and easy, nice and quick. Quick little project, but it's a really cool deauthor project. So you plug it in. The board already comes flashed with deauthor on it. Let's go to packet monitor. And you can see that it's it'll sit here and scan the packets as it goes through the channels. Let's see. Let's go ahead and do one of the attacks. Let's do the beacon attack. We'll hit start. Let's see. I'll pull it up on my phone. And we see that it's got the Rickroll beacons out there. And it's got the pwned Wi-Fi access point so that you can get into it from your phone or from a web browser. It's just like the ESP32 we did earlier. It's just in kind of a nicer little form factor because it's got a screen and the buttons. You don't have to do it all through a web interface. But yeah, that's it. Simple little project. Lots of fun. Um, if you like the deauthor project, uh, Space Hun does a lot with it. I highly suggest going and supporting them. Support get the hack held vega 2 uh, not sure what else they have on their website but this was the big thing i was looking for Let's see am i still at i still see the attack still running so you can get you can back out and go to something else we'll stop the attack the neopixel will turn back to green i think it'll cycle through a different couple of different colors but yeah so if you if you like this project go pick it up from space hun uh, if you'd like to kind of see how one would lay out the buttons and screen with an ESP8266 that you already have, let me know and I, I can make a video on that as well. This is just a simple video, something I could get out quickly and a project that I was really looking forward to. I, I received it a few days ago and it's just been sitting here staring at me, wanting me to come and complete it so we've got it all done now just a reminder I mentioned at the beginning the sticker pack is available on my website the script kitty sticker pack I've got shirts on there as well and the war driver cases the cases do come with the inserts already in them and all the hardware needed to put them together it does not come with the War driver kit itself. I will be working on getting all the war driver kit ready so that I can sell it as a kit. I've talked with Jay Hewitt and he said go for it. So I will have it as a kit and I will probably sell a few of them completed if you're not one to enjoy soldering. So yeah, if you like this video, if you like my content, like, subscribe. If you'd like to support me, head over to my website. 463n7.io and that will give you all of my links and in, inside of there you will see a shop link. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.